What's good, YouTube? I'm up early on a Saturday, and I don't want to be. We got to get this bed out of here. We've been talking about it for weeks. And finally, I'm going to take matters into my own hands. I figure I'll put a nice shirt on today, but this collar is pissing me off. I'm kind of like, don't feel like taking it off and ironing it. But guess what? I'm pouring me a pot of coffee. And I'm gonna use this, it's the same as an iron, right? It got hot water in it, just like an iron does. And if I press this down, I should be able to press my color down. Let me iron my shirt with a cup of coffee. I just gotta be careful not to spill it and not to burn my chin. It's the same concept, right? I could take a pot of coffee and iron my shirt. Or I can go pull out the ironing board, wait for the iron to heat up, and take my shirt off, or I can just use a pot of coffee. Let's see how this works. Huh, press down. Now, I can pour my coffee. Voila. Just made it to base. I gotta get the rental car. So forget the ghetto stuff. I gotta remind myself that I graduated from that life. I was gonna put the box spring on top of the van, but I realized they have a flatbed truck available for rent and it's only 17 bucks. So what's $17 more and doing things the right way, right? So here we go, I'm inside this truck and I have one hour, so $17 an hour and I have one hour to get the box spring over to my boy's crib. So uh, let's go. And I got one hour and it's already been, 10 minutes, that's not bad, but the traffic lights, and traffic is the biggest thing. Shit, I gotta hurry up. Traffic on the way over, 10 minutes. Two minute poop, I gotta get out of here. I'm not sure if this is gonna fit on the elevator. Crap, so I can't use the elevator, and I gotta get it down there. So I am 25 minutes in and I got another 35 minutes to go. I finally got the box spring and the flatbed and I had to take it down six flights of stairs. So let me tell you about the four types of people. Back to what I was saying earlier. Anytime you try to do anything, you have an idea, you wanna start a business, or uh, whatever it is that you want to do. If you tell anybody, expect four different types of reactions, right? So the, the, the moral of the story is don't keep it to yourself. Just be mindful of who you telling and what the reaction is going to be like. Like, I don't keep anything to myself because I don't have all the answers. I don't know, you know, what, what tomorrow may bring. But collectively, if we talk to each other from, you know, everybody from around the world, somebody knows something. And somebody is an expert at something and they're gonna help me with it. So what I'm saying is, you're gonna expect four different type of reactions. Your first reaction is the hater. The hater is just definitely gonna instill negativity. They're not gonna be supportive. They don't give a damn. They don't want you doing it because they can't do it. You know, and it's not, some people just really genuinely just got a bad heart and they don't want to see you do well. But other people, they can't see well for themselves and they can't see well for anybody else. That's just their reality. So don't take it personal. So your naysayers are my favorite type of people because they, they are the most helpful if you ask me. They're one of the most helpful. Like for example, I saw that kid riding a, riding a skateboard and if I have the idea of creating my own skateboard or longboard, you know, your naysayers go, what? I wouldn't buy a longboard from you. I wouldn't buy a skateboard from you. Only way I'll buy a skateboard from you is, and then they'll go on and tell you what you need to do. Or they'll say, you know, there's so many companies out there who, who uh, produce skateboards already, and here you go, want to produce a skateboard. How are you going to make a skateboard when there's all of these skateboards already available? That's a really good question. That's a very good question. 
if you could listen to what they're saying and not listen to how they're saying it, they're actually helping you. You know what I'm saying? So you go write that question down. How are you? How are you going to sell a skateboard when there's so many skateboard companies out there? If you can answer that question, you're going to be hella successful. And then they say as a go, I'm not buying your skateboard. If only only if it's in if it's in blue, only if it's in red, only if it has these tattoo designs on it. If if it has this type of wheel or whatever, then you'll say, Oh, okay, I need this type of wheel, I need this, this is what you want. And if you talk to enough naysayers, everybody will help you put produce the skateboard. I love naysayers. Don't let these people discourage you. I seen this video of the guy, he's talking about don't tell people your ideas because they try to talk you out of it. Nobody can talk me out of anything. That's the problem. Tell people your ideas, but don't let them talk you out of it, you know? You got to listen to what they're saying and use that information to your advantage. The third type of person are the yes men. The yes men is cool, you know what I'm saying? They're supportive. Everyone needs that moral support. Everyone needs that, that confidence, that esteem. The, the, the eight yes men, they don't have no solutions for you. They don't have no ideas of what you're trying to do. They know nothing about it, but you know what they do? They say, go for it. I believe in you. Yes, you can. You know what I'm saying? And they give you confidence. The last type of person is the best type of person. Those are the ones that's, that's like the yes men, but they have solutions also. And they got connections. They say, yeah, I believe in you. You can do it. I can't wait to see it. Hey, as soon as you get that done, call me. I know a person who can help. They got solutions and they have and they offering up their assistance. Those people will help you become successful. So everybody expects the the best type of person to help them with their ideas when they present it to them, but that's not always the case. So stay away from negativity, but listen to the, the to the naysayers. So we made it. I got 15 minutes to get back to base. So too bad you guys couldn't see us struggle with the thing up the stairs, but it's all good. Man, I'm ready to eat. Uh, I'm a fiend for some pancakes. When I when I was a kid, that's all all we eat all the time, pancakes. And how they do it here is legit. So delicious. Mm. Our oh, eggs and things off the chain. We sitting here stuffed. The portion size is so big. I try to force all of it because you can't take away. You can't yeah, take that's away, it. Guys. They don't have I, a to-go container, they don't have so a we have to try so to finish it. We're stuck here trying to eat all this food, but it's good food, right, babe? Bang. Thank you for watching the vlog. Oh, there goes Jay. Night's finally finished. Probably about to go edit a video, sip on some sake or something like that until I pass out. So, good night, everybody. Thank you guys. Bye.